The 53rd installment of the World Economic Forum will return to the Swiss Alps for its winter slot. A record number of business and government leaders are expected to attend the annual Davos Summit, which is to be held from 16th to 20th of January this year. The war in Ukraine, climate change and deglobalization are issues which will be on the agenda. Here now is a report. The global elites are heading for Switzerland again. After years of health crisis disruption, the annual meeting of the World Economic Forum is back in its traditional snowy January slot. And a record number of attendees are expected. That should include 52 heads of state or government, 19 central bank governors and over 600 CEOs. A high-level Chinese presence is expected, but the Russian delegation will be notable by its absence. That's no surprise, with the conflict in Ukraine among the top items on the agenda. Also on the week's to-do list, how to avoid a global recession in 2023, and how to stop an energy crunch derailing efforts to tackle climate change. Critics remain sceptical, however. They say Davos is just a talking shop, and probably does more to stoke global warming, given how so many delegates fly in on private jets. Forum founder Klaus Schwab disagrees. He says the event brings together decision makers with the power to effect real change at a difficult time. Here we are at the beginning of the new year, looking ahead to our future, characterized by unprecedented multiple crises. And even worse, those economic, environmental, social and geopolitical crises are converging and conflating, creating an extremely versatile and uncertain future. This year's official theme for the event is Cooperation in a Fragmented World. The Davos Forum runs from Monday until Friday. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.